This is a, another screencast video helping uh, our teachers on our Harmony observation tool. This is the Harmony staff assessment. I am on what I see, which is just about everybody's name on the Harmony um, website. You would just have your name uh, pop up here. I'm going to scroll down. We're going to talk about uh, setting up your SLOs starting with step one. So I'm going to start with um, Liz Puckett, who's down at the elementary, not with us, so I'll go ahead and use her as my guinea pig in this video. When you get to your name and you have, again, the little blue um, icon over here that's supposed to look like the silhouette of a head, go ahead and click on that. And when you click on that, it'll drop down this bar that has the data summary pre observation conference. Um, and there's your add SLO, the third one over. This is the one you want to start for your SLOs. Click that and it'll bring up the SLO menu. There you have step one, step two, step three, step four, step five. Um, when you go into SLO step one, just go ahead and scroll over step one, click it and it'll open up. So here's your pre-approval for school-based assessments. What this SLO is, and as we try to rejog our memory from over the summer is, basically this is your standard description list. Um, and these are the questions from your assessment that you're using, your pre and post test that you're using to put in here. What you can do very easily is if you're using the same assessment and it has been approved for you to use the same assessment that you've used in the past, this should be fairly easy. If you can access last year's um, Harmony web tool, you can go in and you can basically cut and paste the standard one description and all the questions that are on your test. I know that the majority of you are not creating a new test, so this should not be um, too time consuming for you. Hopefully that you can just go in, click back and forth, and um, cut and paste as you go from there. Um, if you don't, you'll have to redo each standard in here. Again, you could probably find those and cut and paste those very easily, and then you'll have to, on a new um, test or a new assessment, you'd have to change your numbers and make sure. But basically, this is just doing uh, listing every one of your questions that covers standard one, every one of them that covers standard two, and you just have to give us the number of the question. You don't have to give us the question, just the number. Um, hopefully, you can cut and paste for all of you. I hope that's what you can do because it would be a lot easier that way. So that's the top portion here, the alignment and coverage check. Also, I guess I didn't mention this earlier, but you want to go up here to the select one and you want to make sure you select the class that you're doing this for. So in here, uh, Ms. Puckett doesn't have any uh, because she's not with us, but you should have a listing of your classes dropping down once you click that and you'll pick which one you're doing your SLO on for this year. Again, hope you can cut and paste. It'll save you some time on that. As you go down to assessment rigor and analysis, which is your depth of knowledge, it's going to give you the level one recall, level two, level three, level four. It's going to give you the learner action, the key actions. You can read those as you go through. And then all you're going to give us is the question numbers for whether it's a recall question, um, whether it's a skill and concept, uh, whether it's a strategic thinking, or if it's an extended thinking. So you're basically giving us is a level one questions here, your level two questions here, level three here, and level four. Again, Hope you can cut and paste. I hope you, many of you are probably using the same assessments from last year, and therefore you should be able to just cut and paste this from last year's and save yourself some time. If not, you just have to designate which one of your questions on your test falls under recall, skill and concept, strategic thinking, or extended thinking. So we'll probably be a little more heavy handed in your numbers in one, two, a little bit less than three, and a little bit less than four. Um, but that's that's what it should look like. If they're evenly balanced, that's fine. Uh, we're not looking for an evenly balanced, um, you know, down to the exact percentage. We're just looking for them to be at least covered through all four of the levels and that you at least have more than just one uh, or just a few in each level. So that's what we're looking for. Um, format of questions, it's, it's basically asking you, are the questions and tasks written clearly? You just answer those real quick down in there. On modifications, if the assessments will be needed adapted for special needs, you'll need to make any uh, changes here below. Kind of let us know what that would be. Again, if you have that somewhere, you can copy and paste it. If not, just type it in there for us. 
and then we need the content mastery score on your assessment. So what is the mastery score? It could be a you know, 75%, could be an 80%, um, some of you could have a 70%, just whatever your content mastery is going to be on that. And that is step one of the SLO. Again, you're just covering the standards, then you're giving us the depth of knowledge, and then answering the questions below. If you have any questions, always come feel free to come and see Mr. Bright or myself, and we'll try to help you in any way we can. So that's SLO1. Uh, thank you for watching.